The middleweight champion Luke Rockhold has joined us here at UFC London and we'll have a keen eye on the main event, Silver versus Bisping. So let's get straight to it. What's your prediction for this fight and how do you see it going down? It's tough to say. Uh, we'll see what Anderson shows up. I've seen some, some build-up. I've seen some of the interviews. He looks like he's in a good headspace. I give Anderson a big advantage on, on the stand-up realm with his length and his diversity, his power. Uh, that being said, if I think if Bisping implements the right fight, I think he can, he can run away with this one later on. Uh, we'll see, though. It, it's hard to say. I, I mean, Anderson obviously didn't look his best against Nick Diaz. He's had a long layoff, long layoff before that, and uh, we'll see. He looked confident. Uh, I haven't seen him this week, but that'll be the true sign of, of how he carries himself the rest of the week. But I give him a, I give him an advantage. You've got the target on your back at the moment. Silver wants his belt back. Mm -hmm. Bisping, you know, wants a title shot. He's been after that for many, many years. Is it of interest to you? Do you think the winner of this could get themselves closer to the, the title shot against yourself or Weidman after you rematch? I, I think, I think, yeah, definitely. With a credible performance, either one is obviously up there. Anderson. If he goes out there and wins, it, it's, it'd be hard to deny him a shot, given uh, the layout of the division and, and Bisping, of course, him too. I mean, he's I think he's won four straight or so since I, since we fought, um, and he beats Anderson Silva. It'd be hard to deny him. So either way, I think it'd be fun for me. So I'd I'd, I'd enjoy adding Anderson to my resume, and and uh, I'm, I'm sure I'd enjoy getting back after it with Bisping on the mic and in the cagey <laughs> to shut him up. It's always fun to, to build it up with him and, and to shut him down is even better. And obviously this is a huge fight for us to have here in London. I mean, have you got a sense so far of the excitement around this event and the attention that's been given to it? Uh, I get a little feel for it. I'm sure uh, the next couple of days will be built even more. Um, it's, been, uh, it's been a lot, of, one day of media so far and it's been all over the place. So uh, I love London and I'm looking forward to uh, enjoying it and getting it there, obviously the O2 Arena and feeling the, the full vibe. Well, sit back and enjoy. You've de deserved that opportunity, and we'll see what happens. Thanks for your predictions. Thank you very much. I'll see you.